Happy Friday! Are you ready for the best show ever? Ever. Welcome to Date Night with Connie and Chrissy. I'm your host, Connie Henriquez, and my crazy co-host, Chrissy Bogue. What up? I'm not Judas. Marge. What? I'm not Marge. No, for you're a not. Change. But Judas, it's been so long. Come <laughs> Even on. Even after the Jets game last night. That the we didn't go to? The horrible Jets game, yeah. The Jets game that we were supposed to go to that we didn't? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm Next glad we did time. it. It was raining I know, that's and we what lost. Jeff said. I, I would have been, been so mad. I would have been miserable. Sitting in that traffic. I know, I agree. Jets, you let me down. You'll make it up. Isn't it like a two show? Two, You're very two, positive about it. Two the, games left? I don't know. How does no, that work? Two games left. What? Four? Jeff. You better uh, start. Eight games left. You better we have start a chance. schooling her on this stuff, man. I just show up. I don't have to go to school. All right. That's I just right. show up. You and Tito. Yeah. I know. I haven't seen you guys. I you know. guys were away. We were away, yeah. But first, how about oh Halloween? God. Well, Which we seems missed. like it was like months ago. I know, because we didn't have a show after. No, but we had an amazing Halloween bash at, at JT's, JT's in the Bay. On the Bay, my favorite bar. We go there every Friday night. It's in Blue Point. Yep. And we had an amazing time. So, Vic, let's show the pictures, because we have all about 50. JT's will be closing on uh, Thanksgiving Eve. Yep. What are we going to do after that? I don't know. Where are we going to go? I'm going to cry. I'm going to sit home with We're going to have to find a new place. <laughs> I know. Don't tell JT, though. <laughs> no, I won't. So that's our picture with Chris and me. It's on there for a while. Oh, there we go. There's JT. Is JT that the real JT? Or yes, there was somebody it's the real dressed JT. as JT. No, it's a real. For real. That's JT's that's wife. That's Mrs. JT, his wife, <laughs> Mrs. who's very JT. adorable. And she's, uh, they're both. I don't know what she is, a mouse? I don't know. I'm not sure. Sean John. Your, oh, that's I, your, call, I call him Sean John. Is that his, I thought it was Steve. No. He's a great musician. Oh, okay. Steve. Oh my God, this why. guy gets extra names every time he meets somebody. <laughs> I thought his name was Steve. That was, uh, oh, us in the Mullen. Frank I'm not Mullen. in that one, guys. I'm no, not you're not. It. I don't see in myself. That. Mm -mm. I don't see I'm myself. I'm surprised you actually see the pictures. Normally you I don't. have my glasses on. Oh, nice. There's the fake JT. That guy was awesome. He That's looked just right. like him. And the bagpiper. I love the bagpiper. That's right. Nice. Oh, awesome Jeffrey. He was a With vampire. With his fangs. <laughs> we wore a costume like 50 times. Dan Donnelly. Dan we'll Donnelly. see you tonight. The priest at JT's. He'll be performing this evening. Uh huh. Oh, Natalie, Natalie and Frank. Frank was very scary. I, that costume really that scared metal, me. That metal, I know. The metal couple. I didn't like it. it was and then we it had. It scared me, Frank. Sorry about it. <laughs> the tour, he's on tour right now. It's actually. Oh, he is? Yeah. Michelle, we love yeah, you. Yes, the music was great. Michelle and Steve. Where's Steve? Uh, who? What? There's Frank. There was so Frank, yeah. I hope Steve's on here. He was wearing a wooden hat. I don't know. You know why? He might not have made the cut. Oh, my oh, God. There's, there's Jesus. Jesus. You got to make Steve make the cut. He was I wearing know. a wooden hat. He probably didn't. I don't know. What can I tell you? Did you know that that hat was wooden? I did not know that. Who's that? Oh, that's when you were singing Into My Tail. Oh, uh, yeah. I was singing Against All Odds with Natalie. Right. So first of all, they, no. they love that song. I don't, I'm not sure why. It's kind of depressing. I know, but we love it. And you know what? And no so they, one, they used my tail as a microphone. We did. It came in handy. Thank you for doing that. No, but no one ever knows that song. So, Well, right. No one knows how to sing it. Right. right. So me and Natalie just took it upon ourselves. I thought it was adorable. Acapella. And then how you, you Googled the lyrics. And it yeah, was like, that was and then fun. you sang Into My Tail. How great was that, though? It was totally fun. We had a lot of people show up for date night. We had an incredible turnout. I was actually very, very impressed. I know. Thank you, everybody who showed up. We appreciate yep. it. And we had our specific drink. It was date night. It, it was, was obviously Tito's seltzer. And it was Splash a choice. of pink. Splash of pink and a choice of a lime or a lemon. Yep. So basically it was a zippy. <laughs> <laughs> we stole the zippy recipe, which is added and we called the to date. It. We call it date night. Date night. So we'll let you know about our next event. We might have one coming up for football. Yeah. For the, for the Jets game. We'll announce that shortly. Exactly. We'll, we'll keep, keep you guys posted. Posted. Keep posted. So now you guys went to. Wait, hold on. I want to hear about you going to uh, see Mark Gaston. Oh. Uh, speaking of the Jets, I yep. got to meet Mark Gaston. Uh -huh. I'll meet DJ Chef. Do we have the pictures? Yes, we do. There's Mark oh right there. Oh, my God. How was Mark? This was a dream come true. He was, he was so cool. I love that he invited us. What I love about it is that as soon as he walked into the place, he started chanting, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. I'm like, I, I love that. I love it. He was everything I thought he would be. He was very cool. He was very cool. Very down to earth. Very nice. So Wesley Walker was right. He was. And DJ Chef has been a huge fan of him. He got to finally meet him. He had him sign his jersey. He was nice. wearing his 99 jersey. We could see that. He was the yeah. sack king. Mark Gastineau, we love you. We're going to have him on the show. We are, totally are. We're having him on the show. And then also, Chris, I know that you met up with I, I called him Steve, but it's Sean? Yeah, Sean. Okay. Sean. Sean Ryan. We love Sean Ryan. 
And so basically, <laughs> he actually made an effort in wanting to make us an intro song. No, not he's, he's making us an intro oh, he's, song he's for making, date night. But he was practicing. He was practicing. Mm -hmm. I caught him off guard. I was letting him do. I was. You doing were pretty the, bossy when I saw I the video. I was like, "Damn!" I know. Bossy. Do you see his face? You're like, "Go to my manager." <laughs> I'm the director. Yeah. Let's go to the video. So, Vic, this, if we can see that video, this is a little taste of what Play our it, yeah. our theme song is going to be like. He's a good beatbox. <laughs> <on Friday, laughs> do the beatboxing so I could send it to Connie. <laughs> Sing the verse about Light. Tito's. Sing the verse about I can't, I can't beatboxing and sing the verse oh about Tito's. Oh my god, hurry up. <laughs> I'm a good director. Was that it? Mm -hmm. Thank there you, Sean. You Thank that was Sean. awesome. Now that was just want... a little tidbit of it. Exactly. Now What's gonna, to come? We're going to want the real thing. But I love at the end when I'm like, that's all you got? And he's I just know. looking at me. <laughs> he's like, dude, <laughs> I've had 20 drinks. What do you want from me? <laughs> well, he's, a, he's an amazing musician. Where were really. you? Uh, Five Points Cafe. Oh, nice. In Seville. In Seville. I love that place, by the way. All right, so see, yeah, we could talk about my Paris trip, which yeah. had an amazing, amazing time. That's why we didn't have a show last week, guys, because good old Connie was here traveling was, with uh, Jeffrey. With Giseph in Paris. How was that? It was amazing. And it's so funny because um, Jeff got us an amazing room. And usually Aww. when you stay in Paris, the rooms are pretty small. But our room had two floors. Of course, Giuseppe would do Crazy. that. Only a Pisces would do that, guys. I know. Only a Pisces. I know. We had so much fun. And the good thing, too, is we've been to Paris before. Right. So we didn't have to, like, spend a lot of time sightseeing. So Which just, is like, good. Yeah. I'd rather just hang out. Exactly. I'm not into the sightseeing so You know much. what? I'm not either. I mean, we went to Versailles, which is outside of Paris, but it was, like, easy. It was something to do. Vicky could show the pictures. But wait. Yeah. There was no Tito's. No, there was no Tito's. That's outside our hotel, which was amazing. I don't know. I would have left, guys. Let me just say this. In the day, back in the day, Grey Goose and Kettle One was obviously true. ideal. Very true. But when we were Let's in Paris, and we're like, where's Tito's? I like, can't believe they oh, don't we have, have Tito's. we have Grey Goose. I'm like, what? What's that? That is a where we ate dinner, which Very is nice. delish. Very nice, guys. And then that's where we had breakfast every morning. We had coffee time. I love that. Which that's was super beautiful. fun. It was in the courtyard of our hotel. That was Versailles. Aw. You guys went to the Eiffel was, Tower, right? Uh, we saw the Eiffel Tower. I saw your picture of it. It's beautiful. Do you love it? We have a video, you have a with video of that. Sparkly. But we went to Versailles, which was outside of Paris, and it was That's a little beautiful. rainy. And all you had to do was buy an umbrella for 10 bucks, and did you were you, set. Did you speak any French when you were there? We. Oui. Yes. No. <laughs> no. Did you? No. Did Jeff? No. Wow. We didn't need to. I have to say, everyone was very, very friendly. Right. Yeah, they were very nice. That's us hanging out, doing our tour. At not like New York where they're flipping you off like, screw you. No, totally not. They loved us. So that was a tour. That was at Versailles in the Garden. That's beautiful. And then what was amazing, too, which you'll see, too, is that Jeff is so good because with the plug, you know, don't what forget, do do? different plugs. So I have a, a oh, bunch of electrical appliances and shit that I have to do to what do my hair. Do? So basically, he pulled the mirror off the wall and set up what? a vanity. No. You set up a vanity for me, yes. Only Giuseppe. I know. Again, again, guys, I'm going to bring it up I one know. More that time. was our martini that did not include Tito's. Only a Pisces would do that, guys. I know. So he pulled the mirror off the wall. I love she goes, I know. And set, and, set, and set up a vanity for me. It was the sweetest thing ever. There's and your then, drinks oh, that didn't have Tito's. That was Lu Luxembourg Gardens? Yes. Beautiful. And then we went to a show. We went to our show. Thanks for inviting me, guys. I know. Maybe next, next time. Maybe next time you'll ship me there. Next time. I'm going to ship you there? Yeah. I love that. So Maybe me and show. Tom Mealy will come down together. <laughs> In case Vic. you guys get injured, exactly. I, need, I need to have my lawyer and that, I had to include uh, pictures of the room because it was just so amazing. Oh, I love it. And, of course, not that being in Paris wasn't fun enough, but you have to include some Breaking Bad shows. So. Of course. Breaking Bad, you ever see it? Yeah, of course. I love that Oh, show. you did? Yeah, we of course. We have four shows left. Don't tell me. But anyway, the great thing How was... How many our, pictures did you put up here? Jesus So listen, Christ. this is the thing. It's a freaking slideshow. Our room asleep, was guys. so beautiful that when we had nothing to do in Paris, we're like, let's go back to the room and watch you Breaking Bad. You took up the whole flash drive. You took up the whole flash <laughs> drive. I'm pretty sure there's nothing left for mine. Pretty sure. Pretty sure, guys. Hey, Bogue, don't be jealous. All right. I'm happy for you guys. That's nice. And then also... Congrats, just, guys. <laughs> we had an amazing... So that was clearly we had an amazing time. And then also just want to say a big congrats to Jeff because... Right, one minute. He had... A, he got... Um, huh? 
select lawyers were invited to attend some dinner on Thursday night for a Leadership in Law Award, and we're going there. Jizef. But first, we're going to see the video of the Eiffel Tower. All right. Sparkling, oh, my God, I'm going to kill you. Sparkling on the hour. Guys. There you go. And then Vic, just pull up the Leadership Law Award. That was horrible. Leadership Law Award. Yeah, we there can't you really. go. All right, that was Giuseppe's award. Giuseppe, we're going Jeff. to dinner on Thursday night. You Big deserve congrats. it, Jeff. You, you deserve, deserve it, it, man. Totally. Only a Pisces would get that award. <laughs> totally. A special Pisces. All Very right. special. So, Vic, okay. aren't to my star loving life tip of the day? Your thoughts create your reality. Mm. Think on purpose. I love that. Do you? Why? You always used to teach me that. Yeah. Yeah, but most people don't know how to do that. Think on purpose? Yeah. Just be aware of your thoughts? Most people just go through the motions. That's why you have to make, a, you make, you have to make an effort. You have to think about what you want. And once you think about what you want, you write it down. You do a list. Well, that's, that's why we have Dr. Mary on today. Exactly, because Dr. Mary is going to tell us about what she's She is the expert in that. Exactly. But right. I will say, every morning I wake up an hour early and I do my list. You do. Totally. I know you always say that. Yeah. I do it too because of you. All right, good. You got me into it. All right, and my bestie of the week, I love this. If you're going on a date, mm -hmm. and you can only, and you know when you bring a clutch on a date, you yes. only can, uh, you know, put a few things in the clutch. Yes. Like a lipstick and your mints or your gum or whatever. Well, Kissamint, I love, I love this product. It is a two-in-one. It's a lip conditioner on one end and then a mint <laughs> like kind of like a mouthwash. Use it, use it. Let's see how Kind of like a mouthwash. I'm going to do it. You just drop it in. Nice. And now I'm all minty fresh, guys. I'm ready for the kiss so at the end of the day. So you have fresh lips and a nice minty breath. And they have one that's called, so this is Miss Independent. That's the name oh, of this one. Oh, it's pretty rebellious. I love their names. And then the other one is called um, Spearmint Your Ex, and it's like a red, Spearmint red your lipstick ex. on the end. Isn't nice. that cool? I love it. Kiss a mint. You can purchase it. I think I paid like nineteen ninety nine for this. Damn. Okay. I okay. should have invented this. So I wonder if you could refill that thing on top. No. Nah, yes. Yeah, how am I going to refill it? But what my my invention is going to be Tito's on one end. Tito's. And then, a, and then a lipstick on the other end. Don't steal my idea, guys. That's right. Don't steal my idea. All right. Oh. So let's take a quick commercial break. We're going to come back with, with Dr. Dr. Mary Oz. Oz. She's our... going to show us how to change our limited beliefs so we can attract our ideal mate. Yeah. Go grab a Tito. Kibbles and bits, kibbles and bits. I'm gonna get me some kibbles and bits, kibbles and bits, <laughs> kibbles and bits. I'm gonna get me some kibbles and bits. Kennel Ration introduces Kibbles and Bits, a brand new idea. It's two new dog foods in one. Kibbles, a new crunchy, meaty tasting dry, and Bits, a new chewy burger style food. He'll crunch it, chomp it, absolutely devour it. Kibbles and Bits, two great new dog foods in one. Kibbles and Bits, kibbles and bits. I'm gonna get me more kibbles and bits. <laughs> For drivers who want to get the most out of their cars, 
It's Bridgestone or nothing. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? This is me, GMC, and the place to be, the greatest MC in history. There will never be an MC greater than me. And right about now, the only place for you to be is with the one, the only, man, how you <laughs> think? You are the best. We're back with Dr. Mary Oz, change expert. Yeah. She's worked with some of the greats. Tony Robbins, my personal oh, favorite. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. I can't believe you worked with him. <clears throat> How was that, actually? Actually, I was a Tony Robbins coach for a couple of years. Wow. So I had some I really know. unique training right. as a life coach. And it really was life-changing for me. And you met him in person? I actually, sure. I went is, on a couple of trips. Is he super tall? He's Hell super yeah. tall. He looks it. Super tall, big teeth. But, <laughs> but really amazing. He's really wow, touched like millions and millions of lives. Amazing. You've so. worked with Joe Vitale, Mike Dooley, Christy Whitman, all yes. the greats. You wrote a book with Joe Vitale. Yes. Oh, yes, nice. we have that book here today to show you guys. All right. right. So for those of us out there who don't, well, I know who you are, but for those people out there who don't know who Dr. Mary is, you're amazing. They should know Thank who you, you are, and they're going to know tonight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Tell us a little bit about what you do, and then sure. the awesome book that you wrote. Jo that's the book right over yes, there, right, with Joe Vitale? The, yes, okay. absolutely. So um, I am a licensed certified social worker, and okay. for about 30 years I've been doing counseling. But I found like 10 or 15 years into it, it takes a really long time to help people with counseling. And that's where um. Tony Robbins came in. So I started to attend some of his seminars, uh -huh. and I kind of did some cross-training between coaching and counseling. And what I found is I was able to help my clients really quickly, really like amazing, and make life-lasting change. Nice. So from there, it's need. really been about, you know, how can I get out there to help as many people as possible as mm -hmm. quickly as possible. We love so that. It's all, it's all about creating necessary change, meaningful change, and life-lasting change. Perfect. And not everybody's not every therapist out there is like that. That's what I what actually I, loved I think it's me. very rare, right? Yeah, so mo well, most counselors rare, are really trained just for counseling, right? And exactly. this is like the coaching end of it helps you get there quickly, and it just brings in a whole another level of um, expertise that that is a great combination with counseling. And that's what I loved about you because you were into the law of attraction and all yes, that. I was like, oh absolutely, my God. love I the law of attraction. I never knew a therapist that's into law of attraction. <laughs> so yeah. you got it. You knew. You're able to like tell people how to manifest, also change. Like, so is it? It's a mixture of counseling and mm -hmm. personal development. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Nice. Absolutely. We love that. And then from there, we do we do some uh, honoponopono healing, which we're going to well, talk about. We're going to talk about that because not many people know about she it. She didn't, didn't even know about it. it. I told her yeah, about that's it. That's very Who knows? So anything that has to do with creating radical change, mm -hmm. I want to know about it, mm -hmm. and then I learn about it, and then I try to bring it out to as many people as possible. Perfect. Now, uh, really quick though, what's the book that you wrote with Joe Vitale? So that's the Midas Touch, and that came out in February of this year. Nice. And if you were to go to, uh, I believe it's page 158, I have a chapter in there about creating necessary, meaningful, and life lasting change. Okay. And I actually disclose my secret formula of if you're stuck with any issue in life, mm -hmm. it's like a three step formula. You plug in the answers to the questions I've asked, and it begins to help you rewire your thoughts, your feelings and create a plan so that you can actually wow. create change. Wow. Now, Dr. Mary, where can they find this book? That book is on Amazon. Oh, you know, Amazon.com. Right? Yeah. Just go to Amazon and look for The Midas Touch. Midas by, Touch. By Dr. Joe Vitale and, and Dr. Mary And you just Mary met with him. Didn't you just go I was go able to him? meet with uh, Joe Vitale, Dr. Joe Vitale, on October 2nd. I was uh, at a nice. mastermind dinner with him and a couple other people. Super nice guy. Aww. Look him up on, on the internet. He's an awesome man. He's amazing. Don't forget look at Dr. Mary. She's a queen <laughs> over here. See, I always just, I, I just think everyone out there knows, but Joe Vitale was one of the, the teachers on The Secret, the movie yes. The Secret. That's true. Teaching about the law of attraction. Yes. And he actually went from homeless, being homeless, yep. to now being, what, a multi-millionaire. Multi right. But don't forget, if you go to Amazon.com, you find out Dr. Mary's Three Key Secrets to Changing Your Life But that's the, the Midas Touch book. Yeah. Midas Touch book, of course. And your other book, yes, which I, I read. Book. I loved this book. Yes, it's a very unusual, unique book that's very powerful. It's oh. actually, I actually write tons of these. I only brought one tonight. That's all right. But this is a coaching-style allegory book. 
So you're reading the book, and instead of having names like Chrissy and Connie right. and Mary. Say what? They're, they're, <laughs> what? Sorry. We're not in there. Huh? <laughs> You've been renamed to, like, you never know, right. or I can do that, or I can't do that. So it's an allegory yeah. book, but it's a coaching style book. So at the end of every chapter, there's great advice on how to find fulfillment, success, and financial freedom in your life. I Perfect. love So books. Dr. Mary, how do they find that book? This book's a little tougher to find. Um, <laughs> what? It's on your website. I feel like it's on your website. Actually, it is on my website. You're right, absolutely right. It's easy. It's easy yes, breezy so on your right. website. Make which is? Change. The, ep- the website is changenowforever.com. All right. Get the book right there. And let's just get right into helping people, right? Because okay. everybody out there it. is looking for their soulmate. Yeah. Everybody's struggling with that. Looking for love. Fed up. They're like, they feel stuck. It's no fun in life when you don't have your soulmate. No. How? Especially when you want them so badly. Exactly. Right. How many times have I told you that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, we've had you can a have few fun by yourself, but it's so much funner. How much when money you have, have I a, given you on that <laughs> subject? <laughs> but I know that you used to talk about the three uh, different levels that people get stuck on when they're trying to attract their ideal mate. Yes. So for those of the people out there that don't know what those three things are, what are they? Okay. So what I pretty much find is when someone's looking to be in a relationship or looking to be in love or attract their soulmate, and it's just not happening, like again and again and again yep. for a long time, there are unconscious blocks, right? And there's three yeah. levels that these unconscious blocks happen. So the first level is obvious. You talked about it before, about thoughts, oh. right? It's like, what are you thinking? Are you thinking you're going to find love? Are you thinking you don't deserve love? Whatever we think really matters. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are stuck on the level of thoughts, Mm -hmm. right? And then some people read books, go to counseling, and they get help, and they work through having negative thoughts into positive thoughts. But then they might get stuck in the feeling level, right? So it's like, even I know, I read the books, and I know what to do now, I'm just not feeling like I'm really going to find love, right? And that makes a difference, because when we talk about the law of attraction, You have to align your thoughts and your feelings at the same time. Hold on, do you love Esther Hicks? Oh, I love Esther Hicks. Oh, sure. She's the woman. I teach a lot of classes on um, the vortex, law of attraction, making it work. Yeah, Yeah. Dr. Mary is the best, guys. (laughs) Thank you. Forget Joe's Bald Holland. Really? No, really. (laughs) Whatever his name is. So then the the third level would be beliefs. And this is where people really get stuck, Mm -hmm. right? So even if you have some positive thoughts, you know what? I read this great book. I'm going to find love. And I'm feeling it every day. And I'm getting excited about it. And I'm watching the date night every Friday. And it's really happening. Yeah, Dr. Mary! You know what? And you go to bed and it's Friday night. And then as soon as you lay down and your head hits that pillow, you say to yourself, it's just not really going to happen. Like something in your gut yep. begins to believe, no matter what I do, this is never going to happen. Mm-hmm. That's really and what that's, trips people up the most. That's probably the most, right? Yeah, that's the hardest one to really work through. And, and a lot of people, they read books, they get counseling, they do a lot of different things, and then they think nothing's helping. Right. But what they really haven't addressed is what are your beliefs say about love, relationship, trust, commitment, marriage? Like if you haven't worked through your beliefs about that, uh-huh you're going to get stuck. And that's where you come in. Yeah, so what I do when I work with people is the first thing we do is identify where are you stuck? Are you stuck with your thoughts? Are you stuck with your feelings? Are you stuck with your beliefs? Well, go ahead. So, Dr. Mary. Yes. (laughs) So, what happens when someone, or give us an example of someone's Mm. being stuck with their thoughts. What do you do? Absolutely. So, let's say someone's really stuck with some negative thinking. Just like, you know what, I'm never going to find love, or I don't deserve love. Like just, yeah, you know, wah, you see it in their wah, face. Wah, wah, yeah. Wah. Wah, wah. yeah. So what I would do right away is really just help them, I'd help them identify what new thoughts are gonna, uh, that are going to be helpful, truthful, and empowering could you have that's going to get you heading in the right direction of what you want. So basically okay. I work with them to change their thoughts from doubtful and negative the truthful, positive, and empowering. So can I, can I give you an example? Sure. What about if someone <clears throat> says, comes in like, I keep meeting someone and they keep leaving me. Mm-hmm. What do you do? We're not committing. Or not committing, right. right. I keep meeting these guys and they're not committing. They don't want and, commitment. Right, they don't right. want commitment. So I, w- I would help them realize how if you hang on to that thought, you're, you're not going to be heading in the right direction of creating change, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. So I might say to them, well, what, what other thoughts could we start to believe to soften that, mm-hmm. that might be believable for you. Nice. Or might That's be true for you. Mm-hmm. Right? She's taught me that. Right. Well. Yeah. 
Well, I would actually really sit down with you and say, like, let's, let's identify five thoughts that are the opposite of that and can be true that you haven't even considered. Nice. And are people yeah. open to that? Oh, absolutely. People oh. love it, honestly. Oh, they, they just, like, eat it up. I love it. Okay. What, what would be an example, then, of someone being stuck with their feelings? Ah, so feelings might be um, if someone were to say, you know, I'm feeling better about dating. I took a dating course mm -hmm. or I read a book. And Online dating. it's just kind of like still feeling like it's not going to happen or yeah. I'm not that excited or, you know, I look at other people and I see they're happy in love and I just know I'm never going to get there. Like love's not going to come right. my way on a feeling. Do you level. want to smack them? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not allowed to. <laughs> Dr. Mary will be in jail. No. I'm yeah, going to have to get therapy in jail. We yes. don't want that. So, um, so what you would do on a feeling level, mm -hmm. right, is that I actually spend a lot of time teaching people this. A lot of people don't realize if you need to change your feelings, you actually can't change your feelings without changing your thoughts. Right. So we go back to changing the thoughts. Mm -hmm. And once we get them more healthy, positive thoughts, I also teach them how do you turn up your feeling volume, mm -hmm. right? Because law okay. of attraction responds to how much vibration uh -huh. and how much intensity is going on. Correct. But what if you're, feel what if you're stuck <clears throat> in the feeling like hopelessness, like... Like, sick of online dating. Like, oh, there's no one going out there. None of these guys want anything. It's like, how do you change? So to me, that's a thought. Okay, that is And a that's thought. a belief, right? Mm -hmm. And if I really do help somebody change their thoughts and their beliefs, which is change your focus, their, their um, feelings will change. You always say that. Change your yeah. focus, change your feelings, right? Yes. yes. See, I remember yes, that, Mary. That all dating could be fun. fun. Yes, this is true. But isn't that tough to do? It's not tough to do if you really, if you don't try to folk change the feelings. If you really just say what thoughts are better okay. and what beliefs are going to work for me or what new beliefs are going to work for me, mm -hmm. the, the middle part, the feelings change naturally. Really? Yeah, and feelings are indicative of your thoughts. I know. Yes, feelings always follow thoughts. Feelings always follow thoughts. I like right. that. People don't realize that. I, don't, I, I didn't realize that until I started talking to you. <laughs> of course. And then you'd be like, oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> So, Dr. Mary, yes. what about, so obviously thoughts, feelings equal beliefs. Yes, that is true. So what does someone do if they're stuck in a very strong belief pattern? Right. How can they change that? Okay. So, you know, first of all, like if you were to pick up the Midas Touch, right, mm -hmm. and to read Which the Which you chapter, should at Amazon.com. Yes. <laughs> there's a change formula in there. Oh, so nice. by reading the chapter, it would help you identify wh what thoughts aren't working, what beliefs aren't working, and okay. then it helps you create some new ones. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I would do is walk someone through what I call the Dr. Mary Oz change formula. Love it. Yeah. And, and basically, some people, a few people can do that on their own, mm -hmm. but that's where I would say to people, you know what, this is a great time. If you have a lot of beliefs to change, that you actually want to work with a coach or a counselor, uh -huh. right, or you want to attend a seminar, where we walk you through the process of how to really change your beliefs. It's right. really not easy to change your beliefs. I, I agree with that. You know, but it kind of goes like it this could is... Be, do, do you think it could be easy with effort, though? You have to put an effort. It's not just effort. It's like you have to recondition like what's been conditioned for years. So right. it takes yeah. consistency and constancy. And right. most people don't hold themselves accountable you know, If you want that. it, I'm like, how could you not want it? Like, if you want it, I'll do anything. Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of people don't even know what beliefs they've been holding deep down in the, in the subconscious that right. they don't even know that's been there. Right. One, they're not aware. Right. Two, they don't know what to do with, with it when they are aware. Right. And then they really don't know how to change it quickly and just move forward. And that's where myself... That's where Dr. Mary comes in. That's right. Yes. So, all right, so you helped us with an example of being stuck with our beliefs. Um, all right, so what would someone do if they were stuck with thoughts but wanting to make radical change? Well, again, so I can... They would want to... Um, go from negative thoughts to positive thoughts or disempowering thoughts to, to positive thoughts. And by doing like what you said, like what feel, what thought feels better? Yes. You Actually, about. yes, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. But people Whoa. out there don't know about that. So <laughs> right. you could talk about that. Okay. So another thing can I share is yes. that a lot of times what I do for clients is that I teach them something called Ho'oponopono healing. Yeah. Yes. I want to know. I, I've never heard about yeah, that. Yeah, but can you say Ho'oponopono? I can't even. Oh, this, one, this one tells can me she's like, oh, she's like, oh, she does. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what, what is that? So yeah, I took tell, it with Dr. Mary, and I, I love it. Tell us about seminar, it. I right? do it every I say it over and over in my tell head Tell us constantly. about it. We want to know what it is. Okay. 
So Ho'oponopono healing comes from a prayer or a process that's called Ho'oponopono process, Ho'oponopono mm -hmm. prayer. But it actually comes from Hawaii. And it's just four simple statements. You say, I love you, I thank you, please forgive me, I am sorry. I don't do it in that order. Okay. Well, you can do it in any order you want. Do you have want. to be sorry all the time, though? See, she got stuck on that uh, when I told her. Yeah, you know, a lot sorry. of people She's like, what am I sorry about? What am I yeah. saying sorry for? <laughs> Why do I need she forgiveness? She wasn't getting it, but she'll explain the I meaning behind it. I love this one. It. Yes. So <laughs> um, what we do is we say these four statements yeah. out loud, yeah. and we say them like between us and God or us and higher source. Mm -hmm. The universe. And, yes. And what you're doing is you're pretty much acknowledging personal responsibility. That right. if something is showing up in my life, mm -hmm. I somehow either attracted it in totally. right. or somehow I did something to make it part of my life. Maybe I have limiting beliefs or negative beliefs uh -huh. that are somehow attached to this thing that I don't like. Right. So we say, I love you. You know, it's almost like I love you, God, and um, you, or like universe, whatever, whatever my, or universe, yeah. yes. Right. And it's like positive to focus on love. Mm -hmm. And then you say, please forgive me. It's reconciliation. I thank you. You're, po you're focusing on appreciation. Mm -hmm. And then whenever you focus on those four things, uh -huh. you're bringing in positive energy. And it begins to send out like healing vibes. Because the guy that invented it cured a whole yes. prison What's his ward. name, Honopono? No, Dr. Um, Lou. No, so actually, Honoponopono comes from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And there's a woman named Mourner who She's shared it with Dr. Dr. Hugh Lin. And we should tell the Dr. Hugh Lin story. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. then Dr. Hugh Lin and Joe Vitale met. And then Dr. Joe Tally wrote a book um, called At Zero and Zero Limits, and he brought book. it to the world. K kind of like The Secret yep. came from, I think it was Rhonda, Rhonda Burns. Burns right? Rhonda Burns. So Joe Vitale kind of brought Honopono Pono to the world the way Rhonda brought the law of attraction to the world. Yes. Nice. Yeah. And this guy supposedly cured a whole prison ward, right? Yes. Did you want me to tell that story? Yeah, you can tell it. Okay, we so just so few, people have we the have background. Of the, a commercial. All right, just so people have the background yeah. of the Honopono Because, yeah, I'm not familiar with it. Okay. So um, there was a gentleman called Dr. Hugh Lin who was a psychiatrist, and there was an institution for insane criminals in Hawaii, mm -hmm. and they could not get a psychiatri psychiatrist mm -hmm. to work in that facility. Mm -hmm. And then they heard that this gentleman, Dr. Hugh Lin, had some unusual healing powers. Powers, yes, good way to put it. <laughs> so they hired him, and he said to them, I will come and work at your facility for mm -hmm. 20 hours, but no questions asked. You and can't. didn't see the patients. Right, right. So sat in a room. they hired him, and all he did was show up every day in his office, sat in a room with a pile of files about his clients, and he'd take the top one off, he'd open it up, and he would look at, you know, say John Smith and the terrible things he did and what his life was about. Mm -hmm. like John then, Smith is amazing. Then he would say <laughs> these four sentences, I love you, I thank you, please forgive me, I'm sorry until he felt like a softness uh -huh. for the gentleman and what he had done. Sure. And then basically what happened is first within months, the, the ward started to get better. Everything started to improve. The, the nurses, their attitude, this was like a whole different right, place. Right, people that were quitting and not, and they, not wanting to work There was not a there. high turnover right. anymore. They saw these amazing changes. Unexpected radical change is what they saw. And you use that, you use the Honopono to this day too, right? Oh, absolutely, every like, day. Do you do I, it with every client? I do it with some clients, not with and other clients. And you've had success stories with it. You've yes. told us some stories. But the big, the big success story with Dr. Hugh Lin was within three and a half years, they closed down the ward oh, because 97% of the, of the people were cured. Were, were cured or transferred but moved on into a better place in life. Nice. That's amazing. I, I I, it's and it's just four simple sentences? I know. Right? I know. Four. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. That's how in I In any order oh, that I you want amazing. to say it. Like even a six-year-old. We can teach that to our six-year-old. We're going to teach nephews. All right. Yes. I already try to teach them the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. All right, dude. It's time for commercial. Ah. Yes. Grab we'll right a Tito's. Go buy Mary's book. Why do cats stare when you're pouring milk? It's like they know it's only a matter of time. Time. The only thing between them and opposable thumbs. Imagine that. Cats with thumbs.
And what if they got together? Gangs of cats with thumbs. An organized army with one thing on their mind. Cravendale. Well, jog on, kitties. Galaxy Luxury Coach is a full-service limousine and party bus company. Family owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best in class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure your special event is truly special. Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels. Concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. What are you looking for? You don't even know that. You don't even know you're on the board, so you can't even answer. I'm asking you about it. You gotta be highly skilled. You gotta be highly skilled. You understand that? Are you well versed there? Are you a very smart man? Smart man. Hit me with some funny shit. My shit is twisted. Tell me something. Tell me something. What do you have right there? That's awesome. Well, that's a big. That's nice. You know damn well. You know damn well. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sir. Hey, are you interested in you twisted or not? Twisted I'm sure. I'm sure. I see you guys. I see you guys. You see what I'm saying? You understand me? And if you can't whip out answers like that, that man is laughing with door to commercial break, punch your fucking mouth loose. You understand me? Time is up, sir. You understand me? You're on. You're you're the man. All right, give me your name now. I'm sorry. My name is Willie. Willie, where are you working at? We are twisted. We are awesome. We are awesome. Love it. Can you repeat that question again? Question again? Mary is yes. back in the house. Yeah, Dr. Mary Oz. We got Dr. Oz. All right. <laughs> All right, so we got cut off. But I did want to know some examples because I know you've told a lot to me that, you know, doing the Honopono, you've experienced great transformation in your life using it. Yes. So for me, like the first transformation I had, it's like really I believe Honopono can help people heal the part of them that's stuck either yeah. on the thoughts, feelings, or belief level. Mm -hmm. Um, by learning how to do Honoponopono, right. right? So when I first learned about Honoponopono, I read the book, mm -hmm. and I decided to test it out. My daughter uh, was going off to college, mm -hmm. and we, we could get a loan, not a loan. I remember this. When you get, like, free money, what is that called? A financial aid? A grant. We could get a, a grant, grant okay. for, like, $10,000. Damn. And I thought, I'm going to try this whole Honoponopono <laughs> out. With this ten thousand dollars, so I honoponoponoed, honoponoponoed, went I love to the it. meeting. Honopono. And did she think you were weird when you were honoponoing in the car? <laughs> well, no. But at first, I wasn't doing it. I was okay. just doing it quietly. And then what happened is we got to the meeting, everything looked good, and they said, "Okay, you guys can have the ten thousand dollars." And then something happened in the meeting. The woman shifted places, and at the end, she said, "Oh, I made a mistake. You can't have it." What? And I was like, "What?" You're like, "What about the honoponopono?" Yeah. Pono? <laughs> so I'm driving home, and I have my 18-year-old daughter in the car. And she's like, oh, don't worry, Mom. I'm like, Steph, $10,000 oh, is a lot of money. Right. That's sweet, though. And I said to her, I don't understand. I'm trying this new Ho'oponopono thing, and it didn't work. And she's like, well, what's Ho'oponopono? <laughs> so I told her. And then um, I said, you know, you just say these four sentences. And she said, well, why don't we Ho'oponopono together? Oh, I love Aww. that. So, and then we Ho'oponoponoed in the car together. Yep. And then by the time we got home, which was like an eight-minute ride, there was a message on my machine that we could have the money again. Isn't that oh, crazy? Oh, that's yeah. amazing. So that's when it really caught my attention. I was like, what is this? Yeah. That damn universe. Yeah. It always yeah. gets me every time. <laughs> so from there, what we, actually, what we actually did was we started to do Hono Pono Pono seminars. And I just put a right. together a three-hour seminar for people. Mm -hmm. And it's the first hour we teach them about Ho Pono Pono. The second hour, the audience, the people do their stuff. Like there's a worksheet, right. and you do your work. You oh. do your part. 
And then the, did you you attended one? Right? I was at it. Yeah. And then the last hour is we do Ho'oponopono healing work together with a lot of people in the room. Oh. So the synergy in the room is amazing. Mm -hmm. Right. Of course. And what happened was so everyone at the end of the seminar was like, oh my gosh, this was so great. Da, 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 da. But uh, the next day my phone started to blow up with results. No, like really? Things, things that had shifted for people. Wow. See? So one of the things that had happened was I was working with a client who had a lot of physical pain, mm -hmm. and she kind of wore it in her face. And the next day when she showed up for a session, she had a kinda, freaking smile. She looked Finally? Like a, she looked like a teenager. Oh, I was no, like, yeah. who's in my waiting room? She no. looked like 10 years younger. Because she had a and smile I, on her yeah. face probably. <laughs> So that was cool. And then we had another woman who attended this uh, seminar. And um, in the seminar, I asked people, what's one area in your life where you want the most healing? Right. And then you write it down on a piece of paper and you make a commitment to it. Nice. And this particular woman had said, you know, I want to have reconciliation with my mom. Aww. So she went home and like a week or two later, her mom called. Now, normally she'd be so angry, she wouldn't respond. Mm -hmm. But she chose to respond. The next week, she, they had a phone call. They had four phone calls, four weeks in a row. Right. And on the fifth week, the mom died. What? Tell me this story. She passed away. Yeah, that's horrible. So she really talks about how Ho'oponopono helped her have reconciliation, which is one of the words, right? Part of the prayer is um, she had a reconciliation with her mom, which she would not have had. And you, she hadn't committed to that. You've had us do that, like write down a name of, of somebody that hurt you in the past. Yes. And then tap on it and do the honopono. Yeah, so even for your audience. So what does that do? Like yeah. for your audience right. tonight, if you wanted to start just to say the honoponopono process, you mm -hmm. just say, I love you, I thank you, please forgive me, I'm sorry. And you say it in that order, and almost like until it's on your back burners, like yeah. until it's automatic, right? And then if you, let's say you have a relationship from the past that mm -hmm. you know has made you super sensitive to dating or falling in love. Right. You would take an index card and you'd put that person's name on it, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Or like they say you were supposed to get married and then you didn't get married. Right. Like you put the experience on the card. Okay. You would grab an eraser, which represents clearing and cleansing. Right. And you would tap on the index card while doing the Honoponopono. Right. This wow. comes directly from Dr. Hugh Lin. So that when Dr. Hugh Lin would give seminars, he'd have his seminar list and he would tap on the names of the people coming nice. to help in the healing process. Now, by tapping on the name, does that make them, that person contact you? Like all of a sudden they're going to get a phone call from their Sometimes ex? Sometimes it's called like, a say, test. Say they're <laughs> tapping on their ex. And you're like, oh my God, he wants me back. So I wouldn't <laughs> say it makes it happen, but right. I can tell you that there are times when I might be concerned about a client I haven't heard from for a while. And as a therapist, you don't go find your clients. Right. Like you wait to see where they're at. Right. And if I'm worried about a client, I will take out an index card and put their name on it. Or I might put three or four clients' names on it. I will tap on it. And I would say 99% of the time. Wow. Three out of four of those people call me within a week. Did you ever tap on my name? I, not yet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dr. Mary, the dude. I no. am going to ask her after tonight. Never. I mean, come on. Come on. Never. There's no reason No, for but that. isn't that interesting? It is. No so by tapping on like an ex's name, that's you're clearing and cleansing all the neg negativity that happened in the relationship. Right. And what does that do to make them reach out? Well, it's not so much what it makes them do. What it, okay. Again, whenever you do the whole Ho'oponopono process, right. right, you're focusing on love, reconciliation, personal responsibility, forgiveness. Right. And whenever you clean and clear between you and God or you and the show universe, up for some reason. it kind of radiates out to others. Oh, and then, like, so you, we don't really control that person or right. we don't do it for that person. But the more we clean, clear, and erase in our lives, we have this very positive vibration. Like, I can tell you with my own kids, I have two daughters, and... I've been Ho'oponoponoing for years, but when I started to give these seminars over a year ago, my kids, now I was saying, if I'm telling people Ho'oponopono a lot, I'm right. going to be Ho'oponoponoing a lot, right? right? <laughs> so I upped my Ho'oponopono, and my kids' lives went on fire. I remember you saying that. Right? So what that tells me is when we Ho'oponopono and create so much positive energy, it affects the ones that we love the most. So by honoponoponoing, am I saying it right? Nice. I have no idea. Yes. Is it creating, uh, a, so it's, it's shifting our, our feeling on the inside? It, it shifts your vibration? It shifts your vibration. Okay. But in order to shift your vibration, we shift our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Okay. Eventually. And just to let everyone know, you're, you're teaching your last 
Pono Pono seminar. Yes. Oh, we want to hear about yes. this. Pono 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 Pono. pono. I do. Right. So actually, on November twentieth, which is uh, next Fri Friday, yes, yeah. next Friday. Next Friday. So after you watch date night, of course. <laughs> yes. But take um, Dr. Mary's class. Yeah. So I've been doing the seminars for a full year, and I actually have some Ho Pono Pono coaches that oh, help yes. people create healing in their life. And I have two Honoponopono trainers, one in Nassau and one in Suffolk. So next Friday night, I'll be doing the last Honoponopono seminar that I'm ever going to do. Oh, oh man. And then man. I'm pass it over to Think the trainers. Think it'll retire? Because what are well, you going to do gonna, I'm going to do some other seminars. All right. Like Radical Change, The Vortex. Nice. I, I want to do The Vortex. <laughs> yes. I need that one, guys. I need yes. that one. I love that one. I did the light body work. We're going to get into that. Yes. Though. So, all right, so people who are trying to track their ideal mate at home right now, you teach a lot about the law of attraction. Yes. What can they start to do to get rid of whatever's blocking them from attracting their ideal okay. mate? Okay, so the very first thing I would suggest, it's actually a law of attraction technique okay. called clarity through contrast, right? And oh, what, what yes. your audience would do is they grab a piece of paper and they just draw a line down the paper. All right. And on the first column, they call it what I don't want. Things I don't want in a mate. Things I don't want in a soulmate. And then on the other side, they're going to put all the things that they do want. Okay. Right? So a lot of times, sometimes before we know what we want, we actually have to know what we don't want. Right. Yeah. So on the first column, they're going to list, like, you know, I don't want someone who's narcissistic. I don't want someone who's broke. I don't want something, someone who's no fun. You list all the things that right. you don't want. Mm -hmm. Okay? And this is going to help change your thoughts your, and okay. your focus and your feelings as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. So then you're going to take each one one by one, and on the other column, you're going to begin to write down what you do want. And as soon okay. as you figure out what you want, you cross out what you don't want. Oh, nice. And then when you have your nice column of what you do want, which in law of attraction, we always want to know, what do I want, why do I want it, and how do I want to feel? And you're going to use that column That's to cute. get really clear on that. Nice. And then so after you write what you do want, then we should write... How do, what do I want? And then write, how do, you, how do I want to feel? Well, at the bottom, if you want, you could put a sentence like, you know, how do I want to feel most days? And yeah, like I want to feel in love. I want to feel adored. I want to feel passion. You know, put down some really juicy feelings that you want to live with. And that's going to start getting you into alignment. Yes, absolutely. Anytime, the, uh... yeah, anytime we are clear on our thoughts, feelings, and we turn up the volume, and have beliefs that are going to bring us to what we want, we're activating the law of attraction in a very powerful way. Which is the key. To yeah. Yes. Yes. So we're going to learn more about this when we get back from commercial. Go order the book right yeah. now. <laughs> Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. No, shh. Trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, you mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time.
You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. Instead of mailing everyone my vacation photos, I'm saving a ton of time by posting them to my wall. Ooh, I like that one. It's so quick. It's just like my car insurance. I save 15% in just 15 minutes. I saved more than that in half the time. I unfriend you. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. 15 minutes for a quote isn't how it works anymore. With eSurance, seven and a half minutes could save you on car insurance. Welcome to the modern world. eSurance, backed by Austin. Uh, what was up? We're back. Uh, we're back. Damn, I was talking about the Jets by, game again. Us by surprise. <laughs> so, Dr. Mary, yes. what do you do when you get caught up in all that stuff? What do you do? Your yeah. thoughts, feelings, beliefs. All What's stuff? the best thing to do with that? What yeah. is the best? Besides Honopono, we know Honopono. Hona, 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 Hona. We could use Law of Attraction. Um, you can always reach out for help, right? Dr. Dr. Mary Oz. <laughs> get yourself a coach. Get yourself um, a counselor, someone who's going to help. Mm -hmm. um, but what I want to also explain to you is how we get here, right? Yeah. How do we get here that we have these blocks, uh -huh. right? And why do we get stuck with our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs? Exactly. So let's pretend for a second. You're 24 years old. You get married. Right? And it's like us. You're totally in love. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're married and you realize, oh, he's not being so nice or she's not being so nice. And next thing you know, this is a relationship that's not going to work. Right. And let's use abuse as an example. Okay? okay. And it turns into an abusive relationship. So what do you do? You get out. Right? Most, yes. most people get out. Right. You run. So here's <laughs> what happens with something called counterintentions mm. is that um, what happens is your, your unconscious brain, right? We walk around with our conscious brain, but we also have an unconscious brain. So your unconscious brain says relationships, marriage, falling in love, whatever word you choose in right. your unconscious. So we don't really choose it, but whatever word pops up in your unconscious. It's like being married equals abuse. And this gets locked into your unconscious. And then it gives and you, don't you know it. Right. And it gives you negative thoughts, negative feelings, and negative beliefs. Okay. So if someone really wants to get unstuck, we've got to get in and disconnect what doesn't belong together. So maybe this relationship was abusive, that's true, right. but not all men are abusive or all women are but abusive. But they may think that way now. They feel and think that way. Okay. And that's why people get stuck for years. They wow. really want to be in a relationship. They yep. really want love. They're really capable of it, but these unconscious intentions and unconscious blocks get in the way. So right. how do they change that? Yeah. Well, again, you can look at um, using formulas, right? Mm -hmm. Look, You have to change your feelings, your thoughts, your beliefs. You really have to dig deep with somebody mm -hmm. and help them see what they're using as proof uh -huh. is not really true uh -huh. and what is the truth. Yeah, can we talk about, you, you give examples, you had me do, like which thought feels better? Uh -huh. So maybe people at home can start to do that. Yes, absolutely. So <clears throat> which thought feels better is another law of attraction technique. Okay. That Let's say tomorrow morning you wake up and you're thinking about the show mm -hmm. and you say, wow, like, that, that show's amazing. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> that's it's the best show ever. ever. Yeah, that's really made a good point. And or like I, maybe they're like, oh, this online dating thing sucks. I'm never going to find <laughs> They would never get that from our show. I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying a person at home, single person. Right. They're like, oh, online dating sucks. I'm never going to find anybody good on here. Right. Which thought feels better, guys? Right. Dr. So you, Mary Oz has the answer. <laughs> <laughs> so basically you would say, which thought feels better? Okay. Instead of saying, I'm never going to find love, you might say, well, maybe I'll find love after I work on resolving my unconscious beliefs. Nice. We like that. Or you used yeah. to teach me <clears throat> to, to believe that there's, so, there's at least, all you have to believe is that there's one person out there. Yes. I like that. That one, that one soulmate. That, one. that there's one person out there. There can be one. There's, there's more, be like, more than there's one. There's more like a lot more than one. No, but like there's somebody who's thinking one. like there's no one out there. Like what about those people? Yeah, like in other words, is there always someone for someone? Like okay. some people think I'm unique, I'm weird, there's no one out there that right. could love me. There's always at least one person, but there could also be more than one person. Or you more used, than to, one. used to say to me, all it takes is one. 
Yes, all that takes, I that's what all you said. Takes, all, all it takes, takes is, is one. She's trying to give you right hope. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> all right, Dr. Mary's like, can you hurry this up? Can you wrap this up? I got I to gotta go to a poker uh, game. Your session's on oh, her. I am a poker player. I'm just keeping. Oh, poker. Just, you play yeah. poker? She is. She's amazing. I am a very avid Not that I saw her, but she is. Oh, we have to have another, another <laughs> Texas Hold'em, yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Our next uh, show's on. Texan Hold'em. It is? <laughs> that's what she's going to come talk about? <laughs> we'll, we'll have a whole game set up here. <laughs> All right, so now you have an ebook. Yes, Talk actually, about I have an ebook. Oh, and I got it right here, guys. So nice. if you were to go to my website, which we mentioned earlier, which is changenowforever.com, yeah, this this is a very powerful ebook with a formula that will help you begin to change this, like we were talking about. Uh -huh. like and it's what free to, for it's, our listeners. It's totally free for your listeners. Nice, it's free. Yeah. All right. So that's on and the website. And it's called Everything You Need to Release Your Unconscious Beliefs and Blocks Now by um, Dr. Mary Oz. And what's the website again? Changenowforever.com. Changenowforever.com. Now let's talk about your offering our listeners an amazing seminar that I took that I loved. Yes. It was amazing. Yeah. So I have a seminar called Attract Your Soulmate, Soul to Soul. That's right. And you weren't available for many things that I wanted to do. <laughs> I know. She'd be like, can you hang out? And I'm like, I got to go to Dr. Mary's class. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So actually starting uh, Saturday, let's see, I have notes on that. Sorry, starting 20, Saturday, 21st. November 28th, if people 28th. are interested. It's Black Saturday. In Black Friday. I know, it's a rough Black Friday. Friday. Okay. But it's a four-week course, yep. and it starts on November 28th, it's on December 12th, December 19th, and January 9th of 2016. Wow. And All this right. is what I, this is for people that are really stuck. This is for people like Mary, Dr. Mary, I've tried everything. Yep. So what we do is we do a combination of law of attraction, Ho'oponopono. Yep. We, we work you through a lot of different processes, and we use meditation. Oh, nice. Which I love. Yeah, which really helps you get, get in that. deep touch with those unconscious conflicts and blocks mm -hmm. so that we release them once and for all. So I created that course just for your listeners. I know. Nice. That they can save. Yes. If, they, if they sign up for all four classes at once, yes. they'll so save if you $60. Pay, yeah. If, so if you come individually, it's $65 a week. Mm -hmm. But I actually recommend you pay $200 up front. You yeah. save yourself so $60. It was amazing. Box. That's like yeah. nothing. I did it twice, actually, to be honest with you. And I'm going to do it a third time. Yes. <laughs> it's very I, come on. It's Christy Whitman's uh, light body work, right? Yes, it based is based of on uh, Christy Whitman's course. Yes. Nice. I loved it. Yes. So, and you've noticed uh, radical change with doing it as well. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Mary, are you single or married? Um, well, I'm actually asked somebody. I'm, I'm doing the I'm, light body I'm work. I'm dating guys. presently. Yeah. yeah. Um, the light you body work. Her? We're as working on that. We're as working on that. <laughs> so, gotcha. um, right, so, but for also for your people that are not local to East Islip, yeah. because that course is in East Islip, I'm actually going to be putting together the same course, course online okay. for January and February. So that anyone, okay, any good. of your listeners who want to take that course, they'll actually be able to take it online. All right. So, and then where do they do that on your website? <clears throat> I'm going to get you information, and All then right. you'll have to update. We'll that. let everybody right. know on the next show. And then we have the Ho'oponopono seminar. Yeah, Ho'oponopono, Ho 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 November 20th. And if anyone's November interested 20th. in that, they can call Adele. Adele, Adele, come on, Adele. You weren't even on the show. Our come audience, on, get over here. For Adele and Jizef. You can call Adele at six three one five seven two. Two three six one. Say Call Adele. Again. You better book it now, Say man. Say number again. This is the last seminar that Dr. Mary's teaching. You don't want to miss out. She's she's the best. Call Adele at really six are. three one five seven two two three six one. I wouldn't yeah. want to learn from anybody else. And I have one more surprise for you. Oh, oh, oh we love surprises. I love those. Is it my soulmate? Is it my soulmate? <laughs> he's coming. He's coming. Trust me, <laughs> yeah. he's coming. All right. I trust so you. So anyone also who is not local and can't attend the Honoponopono seminars, right. there's actually an online home study. Honoponopono. You take it right in your own home. I'm doing it, guys. And I, I walk you through that. And if you're interested in that, you just go to createchangenowforever.com. Createchangenowforever.com. Dr. Mary Oz, you're, you're the best. Thank you so much. Tune you're in crazy next, if you don't go to Dr. Mary Oz. Uh, all this freebies. She will help you Tune find your soulmate. For our next fabulous, best show Where's ever. Where's Dr. Mary's prop? All right, Dr. Mary. I'll get it.